Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a first impression on the Berry Sum My Lip Tint Pack. They are basically little lip tint packs that you put on and then you peel off so then it creates a stain that should last a very, very long time. And I got these from MimiBox.com and I will link these down below for you guys to check out. But I heard a lot about these and I wanted to try them out so I'm here to share my first honest opinion about the two shades that I have here. And plus I haven't done a first impression in a long time so so uh, this is going to be fun for me to film and kind of quick and easy for you guys. And it was requested for me to do a first impression on this product on my Snapchat. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a Snapchat and I made it a couple weeks ago um, during the start of school. So um, it is actually Ulisha. I'll leave it right here for the spelling. And you guys can add me on there. I reply back to most Snapchats. Um, and I will maybe possibly add you randomly. Sometimes I like to add people. Um, but yeah, I post a lot on my story. It's fun. It's almost like a vlog channel because, you know, it's right there right away. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TalkAboutLisa. And that is all. Let's just hop into the first impression. So, of course, I have no lip makeup on and, um, I actually want to, like, try, kind of do both. So, I'll swatch one on my hand and then do one on my lips so then I can just show you guys the color of them. So I'll be using this shade on my lips, which is shade number four, um, Lovely Peach. Um, so yeah, I haven't opened these, so this is fresh and new. Um, here's the packaging. It's just a tube, and I've seen a lot of first impressions on these, so I guess I know how it works. Um, let's just do this myself then. Okay, so when I opened the cap, it looks like this, so it's all new. Um, I'm gonna apply this to my lips, and I have to wait like five to ten minutes, so yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I just applied it, that was kind of hard and kind of messy and I'm gonna try not to taste it I forgot if people said it tasted bad but it smells good it doesn't really have a huge fragrance kind of smells a little citrusy for the peach one so now I'm gonna swatch the pink shade I have right here called pure pink pure pink onto my hand and then we'll see the color of that too Oh, I tasted it. That was so nasty. Oh my god, that was so bad. Yeah, I do not get that in your mouth. That is so disgusting. Five to ten minutes. Let's do this. So, it has pretty much been ten minutes and it's already peeling up the sides of my lip and I can barely talk but I can still talk like this so it's not too uncomfortable it kind of feels like a sheet over my lips but um my hand swatch is also dry so I'll be just peeling both lips off right now which sounds so weird but let's do it oh I'm talking off really fast Here is my lip color. It is slightly tinted. Um, there's barely a difference, but the camera's not picking up it very well, but actually in real life, it's a nice, um, I would guess a dusty orange color, not too bright and peachy, um, but it's a dusty kind of orangey rose color, which is kind of natural and cute for especially the fall time. But here's my hand swatch and I'll be just peeling this off as well. The pink is definitely more pigmented, so here's what it looks like. The lighting is kind of washing it out, but that's the pink, and it is very pigmented compared to the orangey, peachy color on my lips. So as you can see by my hand swatch, it's like um, smudge resistant. No kiss marks. Um, there's no transfer between the two swatches, or this swatch in my hand that I just rubbed together. So this would be great if you're um, going out and you don't want to have to like worry about getting your lip color on your clothing or if you're gonna go out and make out with someone it won't get on them so whatever floats your boat with long-lasting products that are uh, smooch proof basically but the peachy color is definitely not as pigmented as the pink one so I'm actually gonna put on the pink one right now and come back to you guys so then my lips actually have a brighter color to share with you guys I 
I definitely love the color payoff of the pink stain better or pink tint, but they are both really, really nice. This one I think I would go for um, if I want to wear a more natural color and it kind of looks really um, dusty, like I said, like a dusty orange slash rose colored almost so it'll be really pretty for the fall time i don't know if i pile on more of the product it will become darker but definitely a layer after layer it will become darker but that's a long process so i'm not gonna be doing that uh i can definitely see that these last a very long time uh like they will not budge probably i'm gonna try to wipe it off with a makeup wipe i'm gonna try to rub this off my hand Okay, so after a long process of rubbing, you can see that the um, paper has a little bit of pink right here where I rubbed it, and it's off a lot, um, but it's still there after all the rubbing, so um, it'll probably last a pretty long time since you're not rubbing your lips with a makeup wipe 24-7, basically, when you're wearing this, so um, it'll probably go through eating and drinking, so it's all good, and it's also great if you want to get someone that day and you don't want to get like lip color all of their face and it doesn't feel too drying the process does take a long time so i don't really see me using this on a daily um day-to-day -day basis but it'll be fun to use during like a makeup tutorial or when you're just having a pamper day and you just want to like put it on have fun with it or like put it on then do your chores and come back to get off so then you have a really long lasting lip color for the whole day you don't really have to care about putting on a lip balm when you run air i mean a lip color when you run errands you can just put on a lip balm it'll look all good and it'll last um so there's pros and cons to this it does take a long time to do um it's hard to control when you're putting it, putting it on and it doesn't work on dry lips because i have a little bit of cracked um chapped area in the middle center part and it doesn't look really good there yeah those are the cons i guess what the pros would be of course good color payoff it's a great concept i love the idea it's definitely unique and i've seen other brands copy this one i think this might be the original brand that made this kind of lip tint pack um but like i said i do want to apply a lip balm over this so then it looks a little better so i want to take my recipe ice cream swing gloss from yeah the brand recipe and uh, this is you can actually buy these two in a set i think on mimibox.com right now so i'll link that down below also but i just want to apply this lip gloss just to bring out the color more and it's like one of those kind of like little kid makeup products looking type things but the gloss is actually a good formula i just don't like putting my finger in there i definitely do like it more with the gloss because it feels more moisturizing and it actually brings out the color a little more so yeah that is my first impression thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys end up purchasing this and trying it out for yourself because i think it's a super cool product and if you buy the set it'll be a really cool um gift to give i think a lot of your friends and family will have fun trying out trying out this product so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye beauties